So last time we covered again the boundary conditions uh, of a constant electric field and constant dielectric or electric uh, displacement. But and that was for the S, the compliance where we had a compliance under constant electric field and constant dielectric displacement, and we said that because the constant dielectric displacement field uh, compliance is larger. I mean, it's, it's smaller because it's stiffer. This is stiff. This is a uh, soft. Thus, the compliance is larger for this one. Compliance. How much does it comply? But we also have other uh, boundary conditions. So these are boundary conditions. And these affected the mechanical the ele the mechanical properties. But we also have boundary conditions which reflect electrical properties, which are mechanical boundary conditions. They are free stress and free strain, where the stress is constant and the strain is constant. And I'll explain why these are important, and you can guess which which material are they going to which material property are they going to apply to. You know, the, the, these applied to the elastic compliance, the elastic compliance equivalent in the uh, in the electrical you know world is permittivity. So, what does it mean to have a elastic compliance? With a constant primitive, with a constant uh, stress, and understand stress. Constant stress can come in two forms. The stress can be zero, or the stress can be constant. So if I have a piezoelectric material, and I, you know, electrode it, and I apply a voltage potential across it. Let's make it bigger now. It's a negative. So all this positive, and we'll just call this negative. So we're getting an electric field going that way. The material is getting bigger. And what is the stress? I'm asking you, what is the stress? If you measure the stress on the outside, what is the stress? Actually, in this case, the stress is actually zero. Although you may think that, you know, we have strain. Therefore, we must have stress. No. Because, look, this is how we define things. What is strain? Strain is change from the initial position. Let's get the eraser going. Uh, strain is change in the initial position. Change in L over L. Okay? But the stress is a little bit different. Basically, by applying an electric field, we change the equilibrium position. We change the equilibrium position or the equilibrium length of the material. So if we allow the material to reach its equilibrium length, then there are no stresses. But rather, if we were to get something, for example, if we were to uh, glue this on the side, let's say we got this side, we laid it on against the wall, and we glue, when we glued it, maybe to some brick wall or something, we glued it to some brick wall, this material would want to expand because we applied this electric field, right? It'd want to get bigger. But what would happen is that this glue would force it to stop. No, I don't want you to move. Therefore, there would be some stress. Because the material wants to get bigger, but you're not allowing it to. Basically, these are free conditions. Uh, normally, without glue. Without, without glue or any of this stuff, we are not constraining it. It's growing because it's changed in equilibrium, posi equilibrium position. Therefore, the stress is equal to zero. But, on the other hand, what is the stress? What's another way that stress can be equal to a constant number, equal to zero? 
So stress, stress can equal, equal zero or constant. Is that if we just simply like put another mass on top of it. We have a mass here, and we have a piezoelectric material here, we have our hookups here. This is an example of, you know, the force is mass equals gravity, and let's say we're on the Earth. You know, so mass is equal to gravity and uh, all that's the fun stuff. So we have a constant, uh, you know, force on the material. This is uh, the, the dielectric permittivity would, would be the same if it has a constant force or a zero or a zero stress. The same thing. And we'll explain one at a time. Now we're going to explain once we explain what the conditions are. Uh, and again, sorry, constant strain is where, let's say we applied the voltage potential, we have this, but we are gluing it down. Glue. So basically the material wants to expand, but you're holding it so tightly that it cannot even move. Usually this, usually with the glue, you, it moves a little bit, but if you really, like let's say you held it in place or something, or somehow you constrained it physically, you had some big blocks over here so it wouldn't move at all, you constrained it physically, then that would that would, could not move. So it would be constant strain. That would be zero strain. Or you can also induce a constant strain condition where the strain is, is definite, is, it's finite, but it still doesn't change. So both of these conditions uh, result in a constant strain value with regards to dielectric permittivity. Now we're going to explain how dielectric permittivity is affected by these boundary conditions, constant stress and constant strain. And we'll do that in the next video.